Alright, today guys we are going to be doing a quick video, or it might be quick for you. So for my W2 valve covers, and I will show you more of this later, I need some sort of way to hold them down and an Allen bolt is the simplest way. But if you know me, I'm not about the simple route. Well, I like things to be simple, but at the same time I also like making things. So what we have chucked up in the way is a piece of three quarter inch round stock 6061 billet aluminum. And what we're going to be making today is another one of these. This is my prototype I made. It fits perfectly down in the valve covers or the W2 wide covers. Uh, it's not your typical Moper Performance valve cover. It has an Allen head bolt that goes straight through. It's a wide valve cover. And I made this. This slips through the valve cover. This seats down on the flange. And you use this knurled section to tighten it down. And then you put a stud in it, which is one of these that sits up in there about yay much. So this is proven concept here. So now we are going to make more of them. How many more? Nine to be exact. I'm not a machinist, I'm just a guy with a lathe, but this is gonna be a true test if I could replicate it and not just get lucky once. So here we go, let's get started. Hope you enjoy some lathe turning. Alrighty, so to get to this point, we had to start off with round stock that's three quarters of an inch in diameter. We have now machined it down to where those are almost identical lengths on the shafts. This slides through the valve cover, and then your stud sticks through. So I actually drilled and tapped this one deeper. I will come back and do that to this one too. And this mark on the dicom indicates the tip top of this crown. So we'll have to machine this crown in on this one, just like we did on this one. This middle part right here will be the knurling, which you see there. And then this line down will become the shoulder, which is right here. So that's what we're going to do now. The knurling is the last piece we do because we can't clamp down on the knurling since it's aluminum and it'll crush it. So we're going to set this up in the lathe. We're going to machine that part down to the right diameter. Run some measurements. Make sure it's all good. And you also notice on this piece, it does bevel upwards. Hence why we're using this cutter, because it allows us to do that. So, music back on, speedy footage for you, let's rock and roll.
Alrighty, so started out as solid bar stock, three quarter inch diameter aluminum. One of the other prototypes I did looks too much like a carbide. I kind of like it, but I did a pole. My buddies didn't care for it as much as there's now two of them. I will come back and I will drill and tap this one deeper, but look at that. They're almost identical as far as measurements. You put them right in line. This head's a little bit taller than this one. You can't tell the difference when it's on the valve cover. So let me show you how we're making these. Alrighty, so here's our W2 valve cover. Now you see why we need special bolts. It's one of these super wide guys. Right there. This is a new old stock one. And there's the rest of our round stock that will be turned into. There will be two of these for each of these. So this slides through and just like that, that's why it's got that step to clearance for the actual lip of the valve cover. We'll put this one in there and then voila, voila, there you go. Just imagine that there's uh, three more here. It's going to take me a while to make these. These are not just like wham, blam, thank you, ma'am, get them done. But there's that, another deal, another skill. Got myself out of gnarl. That's pretty cool. Pretty happy with these. We'll finish making them. As always, guys, thank you for checking it out. Look forward to seeing you guys when the W2 340 is rocking and rolling and we get it built. So, as always, stay tuned and look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.